Sword of Asley, everybody should talking about. <laughs> Welcome, guys. I'm back. Uh, it's exciting news. Next week, I switch back to days, so we should be getting back to the schedule, hopefully. Slowly, but we'll get there. Um, yeah, so we're, the plan is I'll be streaming today, um, and then I'm going to stream Saturday, and then next week is when I go back to days, so then we'll be just focused on Saturdays for a little while, I think. Just so I can get used to the working the day shift again. And then I'm hoping to get back to the two to two days a week to three days a week. Uh that and that platform. So and I hope to keep the calendar up to date every Sunday. But bear with me guys. It's gonna be a couple weeks. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get back to schedule, but it's gonna take a little bit of time. So uh because I literally am going from a, from a Friday night working the night shift to the weekend, which is gonna be busy uh this week. And then Monday morning. Bright and early, have to be at work at six o'clock. So, I'm sure it's going to be a to be kind of hectic, kind of um, going to be a little tired. So, uh, that's why I'm not going to be doing uh some evening streams next week because I want to get I'm going to be tired trying to get used to this new schedule or change back. So, one good thing is I talked to somebody at work who was on the night shift and who already switched. And he said it didn't really take that long to switch back. It was the other way that took a long time. So we'll see how it works out. But anyway, we're going to play a new game. Uh, well, not new game. It's been out for a little while. Uh, Ghost on the Shore. Uh, we're going to play that game. So let me load it up here and we'll get started. There we go. And let me turn the volume up. There we go. Yeah, the volume. So that's good. Uh, you guys let me know if if I was messing around with sound effects and mu the music um, because I went by vo the voice in the game got affected by how my music and uh, sound effects so let me know if something is too soft and I can go into options anytime and change that hope you are doing well hope your families are doing well let's go ahead and get just get started yeah we're gonna restart I just played it a little bit just to get an idea of what it was like Oh, what? Return my lava lamp. There we go. Gotta get the mood effect. So they do their credits before the game on this one. <laughs> but that's because they don't want you to not watch them. I get it. What is this? It's not supposed to rain today. I checked. I don't want to be out here when it rains like that. Lightning? No, no, no. Not a storm. Not good. Can't see a damn thing. What am I going to do? Oh my god. I can't do this. Yes, you Stop can. freaking out. You've prepared for this, Riley. Now, how do I Look get out of this mouse. This is useless. Look. I can't tie up the boat now. Okay. No! Uh-oh. I'm going to die! You're not gonna die. Can't be out here. Not on my own. There. Is that land? God, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, shit. This can't be happening. No, 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 no. Oh. Not the rocks. No. Damn it. This was a mistake. Get me out of here. Somebody! What is this? What is she doing? What is that sound? Is that a... a human? Hello? 
Focus, Riley. It's just the wind. Eyes on the water. I have to moor. Somewhere. Oh, I wouldn't do that. What is that sound? Wit. I'm not waiting. Answer me now. You can hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Who are you? What? I, uh... Wait. No. I don't want to know. Is that a pier? Yes! If I can get the boat close enough... Sorry, guys. I can do this. There you go. No, you can't. You'll crash. Leave me alone. Whoa! Come on, Riley. You've got this. What are you doing? Cut the engine. You've read the manual. Manual? Have you ever sailed a boat before? Stop it. You have to turn off the engine. Stop talking. You're gonna get us both killed. I'm already dead. Turn that key. Cut the engine. Okay. Well, turn the key. All right. Well done. No, drop the anchor. Yes, of course. Drop the anchor. Great idea. Good. You did good. You'll be fine now. Alright. <laughs> wow. Um. I am not fine. You have to stop this. Stop what? Talking. You have to stop talking. Understood. That's fine. Thank you. W-S-A-D. Boo. I well. made it. What a mess. The window. I need to see the window. I ruined my boat. Yep. Did. That looks so beautiful from here. You should go. I decide my own fate. I'm living my life. That was the plan after all. So yes, be a devil. Let's check our backpack. I have no desire to get stranded without food or water. Yeah. Never leave without your music. It's soul food. Can't starve, right? Mm, corned beef. Yum. Taking that with me. I am sketching the entire journey after all. Okay. Looks like that's all we got. Awesome. The beer made it through the storm. I can celebrate later. All right. I read this book front to back. Pretty useless in a storm. I am not. So I did not equal those others should be without by Captain George Ferguson. Selling us about the boat. Why are these islands not on here? Hmm. This damn relic must be broken because that weather wasn't fair. Well, we're a little feisty about that. Great. Out of coffee. Oink, oink, Abby's. You'll be baking for more. Ha <laughs> ha! Take. 
Don't want to miss anything. See? This was good thinking, Riley. Food supplies. Or jerky. Why didn't I think to check that damned weather glass? Don't get to take it with us. I kind of wish you were here, Marshall. Could have gone exploring together. Yep. This Marshall's probably a pooch. Please. Marshall. I think we got everything we can get. Well, that's just a long walk on a pier. I'm doing it. Water's kind of iffy. Own fate. And will you look at all this? So beautiful out here. Wish you were here. Sunny greetings from... a far off place. The Rogue Islands. You're still here. Um... yeah. Thank you for last night. I'm grateful and all. But you know you can't stay, right? Why? Because you're not real. But I am, Riley. I've decided you are not. And don't ever say my name. Ever again. You know what? Just shut up. Almost as good as endless oceans. The edge of the world. I'd live here. I haven't figured out the style of artworks they're going with. I think it's supposed to be like a painting. And what I've... happened here? Did they all honestly leave? Can I speak to you now? Maybe. Wonderful. There's so Whoa. much I want to ask you. Too much. <laughs> so much I don't know yet. Or I've forgotten. Down. Please be quiet. Honestly, I don't want to be quiet. It's been way too long since I got to talk to anyone. I understand that, but I will lose my mind if you don't. Please, just talk to me. That's it. I'm blocking you. You're spam. Spam. What's spam? I'm not sure I can deal with this. Am I imagining you? You can talk now. You're not imagining me. This place. It's mesmerizing. What happened here? I don't know. I don't remember. Nothing? Not a single thing. You never taught me your name. Josh. My name's Josh. Let's meet you, Josh. Oh, what a pretty little cottage. Right out of a country magazine. What do you know about it? I don't remember. I'm sorry. Let's see. Seriously? <laughs> Piccalilli is as far as I go. You'd eat it if you were here in the winter time. Uh, pickled eggs. Ooh. Nine to ten hard boiled eggs, a cup of vinegar, a cup of water, two tablespoons of salt, two teaspoons of steamed eggs, peel, put our uh put eggs in wide mouth jar, heat liquid, add sugar and salt, keep heated until sugar dissolves. Pure brine over the eggs, leaving a fourth inch of base at the top. Put lid in this and store in a cool spot. Note, make sure there's room in this jar for eggs to move around. Let's sit for a few days. Oh mm, boy. Yum yum. 
<laughs> I had a long dart, but not really because I can't open anything. <laughs> kind of frustrated that it's telling where everything is. I kind of, I don't know. Why? Bath salts, oils, desserts. I love roses. Roses are red. Rose petals. Okay. I think this is more of a, a walking sim. Calendar. No more fairies after 1980. Hmm. Monday through Thursday, 4 o'clock. No service on... New Year's Easter, Christmas Day. But yeah, 1980 was the last time there. Argo. Why did this Margo never open a letter? Maybe she never knew it was here. My dear Margo, I never write letters. I bought the stationery when I moved to the island, having every intention to write to friends left far behind. This is the first piece I've ever used. My life was here. The letter would change that. Pictures were my talent, not words. Motion in my subject's eyes. How could I use sentence after that? Some things, though, must be told in words, and as you, and as you won't allow me to speak the words, we'll buckle down it and write them. I must go, even though I don't want to. How oh, I hate to leave you, Margo. But time is not our friend. Time is becoming unkind to me. No amount of fresh, salty air will fix the ache in my bones. So I must head to the mainland. I hope you forgive me. It seems unbelievable that you had only been on the rogues for three years. I was never lonely before you came. Never lonely before you came. But as soon as I saw you, I felt love I never expected. I love you as a mother loves a daughter. That was the trouble blessing. You wouldn't let me get close in those first days, so I had to wait, and it was worth it. But Margo, my sweet, I worry. Can I continue as you are, please? Come find me on the mainland. There's one last ferry next week on the 29th of September. Come to me. Let me help you. The island will wait. They always, they're always here. In case you don't take the last ferry, I'm leaving you all my food, all my recipes. I know you, you love the race bread, all the knowledge to survive the rogue islands. You can make it. Life beautiful. You are young and alive. Even my photos cannot capture your true spirit. I hope you conquer those demons and live your life as fully as I have. I want you to have no regrets. I will miss you, Carrie. Okay. That in a backpack. Nice little clock. Griff? Do you think it's them that lived here? Maybe. I am here always. Okay. Ghost is talking to us. Great B. Nothing there. No that. Oh, this loops back around. But this is camera. Definitely the home of a photographer. She's beautiful, but she looks so sad. Okay. Look at the journal by I. Back for ah. 
don't know how to get. Oh, there we go. Kind of cool how it just writes in the journals. <laughs> Oh, it's a boy. All right, let's just go through this really quick. That's okay, cool. Hope you can see I want to see more setting of my sails to the bills of the warm breeze. Take me home over the horizon. Oh, there's oinks, friends, or food. Stop the slaughter. <laughs> Uh, damn straight, I did. Back to square one, just me and Marshall. He is back into the, the cabin. Have planned for the long haul. I'm not sure my jerky will take that far. Rose petals, raisin bread, I can smell it. What's the key to the boy? Leave. Uh, and no, you can never come back to. Never undo the choice you made. Always. Did you write this on the picture frame? Or was this the who, one who made the promise? Always. That's a very long time. We can always have the ones we love. How? Once be missed like that. There's Margo. You so odd about seeing the remains of a dark room. Looking at the negative, what remains? The image is taken away. She looks so lost. Did she want to be saved? All right, that's pretty cool. Be here. So I think we're ready to go back outside. Don't think there's any. But I go out the right way. The dark room with all everything in there. This is kind of... So, what do you think about the cabin? I don't know. I need to have an opinion. Um, uh, have my Did you read the letter? I did. Why did Kerry write Margot a letter? She felt guilty about leaving her. How do you know that? Because that's what she told Margot. What are you saying? I heard her say it. I was there. You were hiding that from me? I can't believe I forgot. But now you remember. Like she'd always been there. Somewhere in the back. And now she's taken a step forward into the light. You knew Carrie. I get the feeling you think this is important. Carrie got the last ferry out in 1980. You were alive in 1980. I'm sorry I dropped in on you like that. Yeah, you really made an entrance. I know. I didn't plan it. And for what it's worth, I'm glad I did. I like talking with you. Thank you, I guess. You make me feel alive again. Boy, you talk a lot. I haven't spoken to anyone in a very long time. Look, I'm not interested in your conversations or how I make you feel. This is not going to be pleasant for either of us. No, I don't want to talk. Not even a little bit. That's cool. It's good to, that's pretty good stuff we saw. We could agree on a timing. Depends on your definition of a little bit. Well... I get to ask you a question every time we see a seagull. No. A pear-shaped tree trunk? No. Just be quiet. <laughs> Rock. 
It's just a rock. <laughs> Josh. Yes? Oh, nothing. I was just saying your name out loud. Why? I wanted to know how that felt. Do you think I'm losing it? No, I don't. <laughs> of course you'd say that. Go on. Keep investigating. Go look at the next house. Homewood's cottage. Oops. Terence. Must be the guy that lived here. Read Terence's letter. This week, aside from the usual thirsty milky thirst, 30 milk cookies for the school, I would love to order a surprise birthday cake or a pie. Sweet Lucy turns 11 this Wednesday. Lucy has suffered these last few weeks. Father and brother leave heavily for the mainland. My heart breaks the many islands depart, many islanders depart. I wish they understood if they, that if we work together, we can make things island vibrant again. Why did he leave Lucy by herself? We need more people like you, Terrence people, who understand the land's beauty and magic. The smell of the bread brings everyone to hope. Over. I know lemons have been scarce, but Lucy would love a piece of your potato lemon that sounds disgusting. She wrote a report about how she imagined the cake tasted. I'm sure her imagination cannot compare to the real thing. If you could make the work, let us hope for a sweet lamb pie. I know these pies are delicious. Forever grateful, Beatrice. Mom, stay back. Maybe? I don't know. But again, why did mom stay back? Why didn't they all go as a family? A cook? Of some sort. Okay, jelly pudding. We don't need to go through all the ingredients, but that's how to make it. Let me just, uh, I get my achievements, so, you know, got to read everything. I don't think he used this to make pizza. That's Ooh, for baking pizza. bread. What's I'm going to have bread for lunch. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I don't get it. Why keep all of these? They're just common shells. Go out of this. Boats. All boats. Um, that's what they are. Our house. Parents was a cook. So he or she was a cook. He was. Terence. Terence. Do you? Cook? No, but I make brilliant scrambled eggs. That's what I was told when I was 12. By who? My mum. Hmm. Terence. We now have two names of islanders you've known. Carrie and Terence. We're making progress. And there's bound to be more cottages around here. All right. We'll be out of here soon. Can't get that way, apparently. Can't jump. I think I came from that direction. 
Because I came, yeah, I came from the direction. Now I gotta figure out. Oh, over there. Why did you come to the Rogue Islands? I didn't come here. I just left where I used to be. Where did you used to be? In a dead-end job. With a father that didn't want me around, I decided I deserved something else. So you got on a boat, sailed away. You got that right. The stillness of the night skies. Letting the stars speak to me. I guess that sounds silly to your ears. Not at all. I've done nothing but talk to the stars out here. So, looks like the schoolroom. Walking the rogues. Walking the rogues. The Rogues Islands are the uh, last unexplored mysteries of the world as the, and a hiker's paradise. Tra trails traverse these rocky islands, allowing spectacular ocean views, opportunities to spot unique flora and fauna. Rooms of the un once thriving farming community peek out beyond these. Traveling through these islands requires know-how, grit, and a good map. Compass Guidebook will provide two of the three. Grit is up to you. Happy trails. Okay, I don't get to take the book with me. Book of the Sea. Patrick or Patter. Detailed instruction to semen and nautical knowledge that covers everything from tie knots and mooring to charts, tidal streams, mathematical tables for astro navigation. Theory and illustrations are inspired with the fantastic stories of boatmen sailing the high seas. The book will bring the reader to recognize the craft and materials needed for safe navigation. He's great. I'd love to see the world. You will. What's that engraving there? For Beatrice. Okay. Oh, we need to see oh. Cordelia Crine. Haven't seen her in a while. She was nobility and a big deal right here. And that must be where the money came from. I they own the Rogue Islands. All right, give me a second. I'm going to turn up the sound effects a little bit because it looks like those are a little bit low. See what that does. That's better. Let's see how that does with the voices, though. Go out of the school room. That's better. Hey, Ruin, how are you doing? Nice. Sounds good. Hope you're having a good day, you buddy. You must have attended school there too. As a child. I never went to school. I learned to read and write, but not up there. Richie, you uh, maybe about that background who? while you're doing your route. I do you remember awesome. the book? Uh let's ask about Beatrice Parker. But it wasn't Beatrice Parker then. No, not Beatrice Parker. It was a man. Your oh. father? Oh. Definitely not my father. Okay. Do you remember Beatrice? Why do you keep asking me that same question? I'll tell you when I remember something. Wow. I think she was headmistress. Oh, God. What's that? that? What? That! I didn't shut up for this. <laughs> No. 
Hello. Oh, God. I'm Riley. You can't be. I'm sorry. Why are you here? Oh, I don't know. I didn't mean to be here. I don't understand. I don't understand either. Uh, it's not supposed to be a horror no, game. No, don't go! It's supposed to be just, uh... Well, that was rude. At least that's the that? way I... Was that a ghost? ...read the... Is that a tinge of fear I detect there? Well, I, I've never seen a ghost before. Uh, you You're are a ghost. ghost. Well, I can't see me, can I? Honestly. Good point. He does have you there, Riley. I don't think it's supposed to be scary ghosts. I think it's supposed to be just ghosts you're supposed to figure out what happened on the island. That was the oh my God, description Josh. I got. I'm so jealous. Is this where you've been hanging around? Well, it's an island. Uh, three, actually. So plenty of beaches to go around. Well, I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Sure, it's beautiful. No, a flower is beautiful. This place is extremely, absolutely, utterly impressive. It's I wouldn't mind living here, minus the dilapidated houses. Or inspiring, monumental. You like words? <laughs> I love words. We'll take a look at that. This house, it means something. Ethel, she lost her entire family to the fever. The tricks life plays on us. I'm sorry. Henry. Dear Pixie, I'm so happy that you teach me to read and write. I'm writing a book. It's a lot of fun. I love stories. I read it to Fanny and Louisa. I'm a teacher too now. Uh, father to write his name. He's really good. Thank you, Hannah. Okay, she drawings a little story. Fairies of the Fire by Hannah Little. Once upon a time, there was a fairy that lived on the island. Her wings were made of fire. They were so bright, everyone could see them. One night, a girl catched the fairy and put it in a jar. Uh, because with the spell of decay, in the night, it got very dark on the island. The fairy cried a lot, and the tears filled the jar. But she was swimming in her tears. <laughs> the end, I guess. No end. It just... <laughs> That's a very short story. <laughs> One paragraph. Ah, uh, that's funny. Mm. Can't wait till my daughter's telling me something like that. She hasn't done that yet. Is but. this actually a football? It looks ancient. Okay, so for the picture of Hen Henry, she wrote, A sense of the ending. Ethel and Henry, what happened to them? How did they die? Um, ooh, that's the uh, pudding thing. I understand passion even though I've never really felt it. I can tell cooking was the love of his life. That was Terrence. What's the cook's name was Terrence. Okay, that's as far as she's journaled, so back up to speed. That. So we play the violin. I guess we go to the next cottage. Back at the school, you said you wanted to travel, and you signed it sad. Oh, it's silly, really. I love silly. I used to think I was going to dance around the world. On every continent, in every country, I'd go and hug the land wherever I wanted to go and dance in honor of it. I think that's cute. 
you don't think that anymore? I'm all grown up now, Josh. Why? <laughs> You're not going to answer me? I did, sort of. I shrugged. Like your shoulders? I can't see your shoulders. Why not? You're here with me. I mean, it's not like we're on the phone or anything. It sort of feels like it sometimes. I wish we were on the phone. <laughs> I could turn down the volume or text you. Text me? Never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's make sure we got all those buildings. I think we did. Oh no, we have one more building over here. Oh, we gotta make a sketch. Hey, look. That's nice. Oh, he's playing. What's in the playground area? I think you're incredible. Thank you. That's kind. How you handle this whole situation? It's pretty amazing. I should be afraid, I guess. But I'm not. Must be your magnetic voice. Yeah, deep down, I'm a siren. Uh, Wait, do you hear that? No, what? Uh, I don't like little girls laughing. Why can't you hear Games. it? Are you sure? I don't like that. Yes, I'm sure. Is that a cassette tape? No way. A what? Oh, I want to hear this. Oh yeah, let's listen to it. Hi, diary. I like sitting here. Reminds me of when I was a girl. You see, there were horses here. You can still see their pen and their stables. Secretly, I like to name them and imagine what it must have been like to ride them on that beach there. There would have been a black beauty, of course. God, I love horses. They're so wild and free. And when I was riding them as a girl, I felt the same. Wild and free. The wind blowing back my hair. The thundering hooves. Why did that feeling ever stop? And why did I think I'd find it here? The horses are long dead. And I'm trapped on this island in my head with him. Um, I remember those horses and the Evanstons. We leased a horse from them whenever we had a cargo that needed to go over the hill. We? The Islanders. Okay. Okay, well, let's uh, other side. Uh, nothing in here. That's waste. This is recent. You think there's a shepherd around still? These sheep don't need a shepherd. It's a breed that doesn't even need to be shaven. And you know this from looking at the bones? I know this because that's what the farmers used to keep around here. I was there. Oh, right. Okay. Go around. Well, I think I looked at everything. I did. Over here.
Can I not get in there? That stinks. Look like I'm gonna be able to get in there. Okay. Um. Sketch. Uh, my schedule changes next Monday. So... Friday I work till midnight and then I literally have the weekend and then I on Monday I start work at 6 a.m. So it's going to be a rough Monday. I have a feeling um, So I'm gonna be taking streaming pretty slow for the next couple of weeks uh, Probably just focus on Saturdays. Just you know keep rest up and get used to getting back to the normal schedule back to the others, you know day schedule Then hopefully get back to more streaming back to you know where I was that's my hope and goal. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Should be fun. Be good times. Go from here. That is the question of the hour. Ooh, sorry. Right here. Okay, so came from here. I was walking down here. Well, like I've looked at everything at the farm. Can't get in here. You can't click on anything unless it lets you click on it. Oh. But it just takes you back in a circle. in the house so. <laughs> look forward to it uh actually i can actually play stuff with you again yeah 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 definitely we're gonna have to plan something um but that's gonna be fun yeah we'll both be on the same schedule again Woo! I think it's gonna be that way. <laughs> Hydrate the sword. All I got is Diet Coke. I didn't bring my water, so. I have to hydrate it with that. Thank you. Need a little Fuck. caffeine. What's that? Watch your language. Whoa. Uh. What happened here? Oh, come on, honey. I want to drink this tea while it's still hot. Mom, did you know that Rebecca from the grocery store has seen a will-o'-wisp? Has she? Have you ever seen one? No. Cheese or haddock sandwich? Cheese, please. Just maybe daddy's turn into one. A, a will-o'-wisp, I mean. Now you know that's not true. Daddy left. 
I know it's hard, but we have to accept Just it. Maybe is all. I asked Miss Jessup about Willow Wisps, but she said they're poppycock. She said there are no such things as ghosts who drift along the marshes. And the sooner I let go of such romantic notions, the better. <laughs> oh, well, she uh. might be right about that one. Riley. Riley! Are you okay? What the hell just happened? I'm not sure. I mean, you saw it too, right? I did. Was it real? I've never seen anything like it. I do remember that little girl, though. Pixie. Pixie. Always running around the islands looking for adventures. Discovering new clues to grand mysteries. Her words, not mine. Okay, so before we... Little girl. Her dad abandoned her. You saw that, right? I did. Who does that? I wish my dad had left. Tell me about your dad. He was a brute. How so? I don't remember much. Just as... Vile. He was horrible. Yep. We'll go here, then we'll go back, trace our step backwards. Or was this where we were before? Where we were before, never mind. We're not going to reach. I thought it pushed us into a new area because it, you know, that whole little whatever that was vision, I guess. I don't know what you're. Whatever the game wants to call it. All right, so let's do this. I got this area. here first there was an epidemic the fever that's what killed Ethel's entire family must have been a nightmare Good that so many dead I really uh, do not like graveyards Back. It's a picture of a girl with her daughter, or her mother and her daughter picnicking. Not graveyard. I have to go from the other side. There we go. A graveyard. Catch. We need to investigate this. You're a detective now. Oh, stop it. You know, the names, the dates. We should take a look. So let's go ahead and in. Don't step on the graves. That would be... Clear it. No, it's a game you still gotta, you know. Nora. Nora Crown. Doesn't that sound vaguely familiar to you? Mm, vaguely. I can't seem to pinpoint where I've heard it before. Oh, she's... I'm a good artist. She is a good artist. Whichever. Anything else? I guess she's the only one. There's something here. There's a bunch of them. Callum Compton. Friend and uncle. Of who? Don't know yet. Died in 1833. Okay. Do 
these out really quick. See there? Okay. Guess we'll go inside. Over here. In the church we go. This is about Beatrice. Beatrice Parker, a cornerstone of this community. Okay. Sunday, August 30th, 1846. Mass preparation. In Mass, I must remember to announce the church picnic next week. Most importantly, I must uh, especially remember to announce the opening of the Cordell Crown Elementary School. I will talk to the organist about arranging for the children to sing a song in Beatrice Parker's honor. Ms. Parker has been uh, of such service to our community to think think without Beatrice Parker, so many of these children would be unable to read right. Now we are have our own school, and she is, can teach them all. Such a blessing. Let's see here. Oops. A remarkable lady adored by many. She has purpose. I wish I'd known her. Yeah, it's official. I'm losing it. When you start writing crap like that, you need a break, Riley. Here's another one. Let's play it. I like listening to her voice. Yep. See? I am such a silly goose sometimes. Thought the evil spirit wouldn't follow me into a church. Shut up! Maybe I've seen too many movies. God, if you're listening, the spirit is evil. Hear me? Evil. Yes, I'm talking about you. I hear him all the time. Sometimes I wish I had gone back with the others. At least I could have talked to a psychiatrist or something. Now it's just me and him. Stop! These people you talk about, they've been dead for so long. Why does it matter? I don't understand any of it. I don't care about Cordelia Crown or why she thought she needed to confess. I want a bit of peace in my head. Yes, you gave me Seabrook, but you want me to stay on that beach forever. But why? Yes, I'm listening. Father Thomas, yes. He's the one that taught you to read, I remember. So he was here when it all happened. Was she talking to you? Not as far as I know. Father Thomas. You think he knew me? Maybe he taught you how to read. No book. Cordelia Crown. Oh. What? What does it say? Did she come to the priest? Shh. Trying to read, Josh. All right, here we go. Better do... Uh, September 10th, 1830. To my utter disbelief, Miss Cordelia Crown came to meet, see me in the dead of night. I was woken to a loud pounding on my door. There was Miss Crown in a quiet state. She demanded I listen to her confession and I would hear nothing of the processions uh, about the, light, the lightness of the hour. She could no longer carry the burden of the terrible secret she did, but no gentle lady as... A, this crown could ever have been responsible for any wrongdoings, much less the test travesties of which she spoke. Alas, the fair she has succumbed to the fever. I certainly hope her delir deliriousness will disappear come morn. Uh, what act is so horrible that you feel you need to confess in the middle of the night? Exactly. I kind of wondered that myself. Who's More notebooks. Phone? Pixie. The little girl? I guess she grew up. Apparently. Dear beloved friends, forever I will remember my mother as a young woman standing on the edge of the cliffs, her, her steadily gaze set on the sea, watching for my father's return. With great heartache, she had to give up waiting, but she never lost her love for our islands. My family is tied to this place for eternity. You may remember Mother Nora as... The one who you could always count on for care for your children. Wipe a fevered brow to read your letter. Who's good and kind as the day is long. I cannot express the depth of my loss. 
just as my mother would never heal from the loss of my father. I too now possess a, a permanent hole in my heart. Dearest mother, I hope you have found the peace I know you never found in life. I hope you are looking down and smiling upon your beloved islands. I will love you always, your dearest daughter, Pixie. Uh, let's see what she writes in her journal now. I know of holes in your heart. When it, when I lost my mom, I didn't know how I carry on. I miss you every day, mom. Take me home. Yeah. Another notebook. Father Thomas. February 16th, 1873. I have been on the robes nearly all my life. I've never had seen the pew so empty. All the... Alas, the grain price has driven so many families from the island. You hardy souls remain, and I will continue to offer them repright from the struggle every Sunday. The church and I will continue to be the sanctuary for whoever is left, Father Thomas. Didn't write anything on the journal on that one. Cordelia Crown. There's Cordelia Died in Crown. 1833. Cordelia Crown died in 1833, age 51. Gone but not forgiven. Tis hard to break the tender cord when love was bound the heart. Hard to speak the words. We from us forever part. Here's love, one uh, we may lay thee in the peaceful grave embrace, but the memory will be cherished till we see thy heavenly face. Wrote something in the journal. What? Oh, she just. Okay, she wrote. She just. Else. Look at this. Interesting. You can look at the notebook twice. Can't usually do that. Yes, you can on the notebooks. Never been to look at look at things twice, but guess but notebooks you can. All right, so that's everything in here, I believe. came from when this gonna run out of real estate <laughs> glad we're out of there. You don't like churches? I don't like graveyards, especially. Did you go to church? It was never about going to church. More about a sense of community. Everybody was always there. Even Cordelia Crown and her daughter Nora. Did you ever meet Cordelia? Probably. But I can't be sure. Are you ever sure about anything? Are you frowning? What? Why? I can't tell if you're annoyed. I can't see your face. I'm not annoyed. It's my head. You're talking at full volume here, and I can't turn you off. And don't say you're sorry. Gotta get up. They say that when you're still and you listen, you can hear your soul. They do? They do. Josh, are you my soul? Talking to me? You don't think I'm real? We've found no evidence of your existence here. But I know things. Things you don't. Uh. <laughs> You're probably right. And I'll try harder to remember. I'm gonna look. Oh, the boat. <laughs> 
Thanks. That's sweet. Thank you. Friends about. You know, a sketch. Jeff? Soldiers. Hmm. Maybe the skipper was one of them. I don't know. Not many islanders went to the first war. Maybe he wasn't from the islands. What's up in a journal? Oh, just a picture of the group picture. He was a soldier. Lewis Doyle. Naval force certificate of identification, Port of Bethanen. Uh, the bearer was still home address, 859 North of Mahogany. 18, 19, 1893 was when he was born. Description, five foot, nine. Color of hair, brown. Color of eyes, brown. Approved on date, December 15, 1913. Approved by Ernest Mayweather. Uh, military report, passport is all back in a journal probably just another drawing oh no she actually drew what he looked like no oh. there's a bunch of writing on the wall really Here. I remember that one lad this picture's from the second war so this Lewis Doyle was involved in both wars. Um, the premise of the game is to basically figure out what's happened on the island. <laughs> and this ghost is supposed to help you. That's the basic premise of that I understand. And it's kind of a walking sim, if you will. Uh, uh, and off they were to their deaths. How could he do that? Or... Or... Was he the only one capable of getting them there safely? Okay. I think that's all you're gonna find in here. That's it. Whoever owned that boat had military history, that's for sure. I wonder though. And then uh, my choices, depending on why did he go to war? What you, how, what I choose is basically how the story goes. They were drafted. Kind of a and little choose your own adventure in a way. Prospect and starving to death. It's awful. Did you see those names on the wall? Yeah. I think they were soldiers. I used to know it, Joseph. I'm sure of that. Did he go to war? I think so. Maybe even on that boat. Maybe this Josh, it's happening again. Uh -oh. Not again. You never send them. They're meant to live here with me, not go out into the world. The letters are meant to be read. Maybe, my boy. And then again, maybe letters are just meant to be written. Huh? I don't understand. My girls. They're happier without me, no? They have lives, loves. I'm a sad old man who's seen more death than I care to share. And these hands, I killed with them. Can't wash that war away, no matter how many years at sea. But those hands, they've also healed. Healing doesn't make up for the taking of a life. There's no return from that. Why write it all then? I love my daughters. I think about them all the time. And I suppose I want to remind them and myself of all the good parts. Yeah, there's no sense to it. But it works for me. They have a new family now. You. I have you, no? Lord knows you need someone to take care of you. Let's go find a spot for this one, my boy. What about three sisters? Three sisters. 
Yes, that works beautifully. Okay. Scruff. That was Scruff. Exactly like I remember him. I didn't see you. You weren't there. I was already dead. You were in his head too. Let's make a sketch. All right. Um, let's go read the letter, I guess. He never finished this one. Must have died suddenly. From a broken heart. Literally, his heart failed. Still, he refused to leave me. I'm sorry. My dears, Alice, Emily, and Jane, May 22nd, 1944. I saw a young porpoise today. He lit through the waves with such joy, such freedom, and I thought of you, my daughters, and I remember the days before I left. I remember the joy of your tiny fingers wrapped around my own. I remember your wild curls flying as I chased you. I remember your squeals of laughter, such a laugh. Of course, you're all not grown women. Maybe you have children of your own, but for me, the remaining of the, remain those small girls with the same wild spirit, the young porpoise dancing in the water. I saw the porpoise when I was out on the boat with my friend Josh, spoken to you in my other letters. We were sailing to the island, isle known as Dark Rogue. It's a beautiful and rugged place. I wish you could see it. Josh tells me deadly plays back in the days. Yeah, that couldn't keep me keep him away. No label, no nothing. Was he making his own liquor? No, they look older. At least 19th century? Yeah. I really don't get why he buried his letters in these. His daughters probably thought he was dead. And he liked it better like that. Yep. Yeah. His journal. He always had a choice. He chose not to go back to his daughters. He chose Josh and I know this picture. It was at that first cabin we found. Carrie's, yes. That's her. And that's Scruff. Thick as thieves, those two. In the moments of joy, life extraordinary. Love, Carrie. In a journal. Uh, the scruffle of Carrie. And as she said, a uh, picture of him as an old man, yet here he is as a young soldier. They look so different. Both can't be true, or maybe they can. I'll be old someday, hopefully. Photograph of the girl. So much. Then why didn't he go home? Journal for the girls. Scruffs girls. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Carrie was feeding him. Let's say they fed each other. He'd go fishing or hunting boar. Our cow. Do you know who this is? Archibald O'Sullivan. We called him Archie. A gardener. At the lodge, I think. Hey. Okay. And there's a lot of like Archie. These are beautiful three. pictures, but why did he put them up here? He must have found something there. By a tree. Good to know. Yep. Find that tree. Murder. Uh oh. Here on the island. Oh, oh my God, Josh! Look, that's your name. All right, let's read this. 
Monday, September 13th, 1819, from the Rose Gazette, a weekly publication, The Black Bell Murder. Tragedy struck at the Black Bell Tavern late Tuesday night when George Smith was brutally stabbed by an unknown assailant, George Age 32 was rumored to be involved in smuggling activities. Black Bell had often been through the smuggling hub. Witnesses deny such claims. George was just drinking too much and yelling at someone. And then what, there was a knife, said Josh. One question he had, I could, could not see with whom George was fighting. The bell is not very well lit. Callum, who had also been at the scene, the Black Bell may attract some unsavory folks. Most of the understanding members of their community but most are understanding members of our community i'm sure this will not happen again i hope they find who did this soon this uh proclamation was was met by agreement from the black bell patrons who then raised a glass to george constable sprouse says he no current leads investigation will continue hey it wasn't done i don't think oh yeah it's done So Josh was a bystander. A lot of trouble went down in Black Bell. Tell him who is he? What's he doing in the Bell? Why was Josh there involved in the murder? Why did uh, he think that place was so important? What happened there? Another picture of a tree. Do you see that date? June 18th? I'm sure I've seen it before. Okay, so let's read this obituary. Obituary, Mr. Colin Compton, 35 dies. Big Rogue Island, June 18th, resident of the Rogue Island, warned the passing of Mr. Colin Compton. Died today due to the lodge fire. Mr. Colin Compton was born on the dark Rogue Island and was and has remained there all his life. Mr. Compton is survived by his niece, Pixie. Memorial service will be held at the church on Sunday, the 23rd of June. The fire at the lodge, I, I don't think that was an accident. And thinking the same thing. A receipt for bottles. bottles. That name Compton. We've seen it before. In the graveyard. Callum Compton. Let's go ahead and read this. Give me a second here, guys. A little bit. All right. Mr. Compton acknowledges the receipt of the bottles, 12 bottles from the Barlow of the 2nd of August, 1819. Whereupon the sale of the said bottles, Mr. Compton was present. Barlow with 10% of the sale amount. Was it Barlow? Why did the scruff keep this receipt? Did he? Josh know? Josh Barlow? Josh Barlow? Question mark. Um. Is this a letter? In a tin can. What does it say? 26th of September, 1939. My sweets. As you've probably heard, war has struck again. We humans never seem to learn from our mistakes. During the first war, I was a medic, and my mission was to save the boys. But there were so many I couldn't help. Sometimes I had to make a choice over who should live and who should die. I essentially killed one to save another. The smell of death the bodies, the blood, the screams of agony. They never let you go. I wish I could imprint all that upon these young boys who are enlisting. Their lives are never going to be the same. I cannot make them see. Instead, they're filled with excitement for the adventures they believe are ahead. I know no way to help, so I take them. My boat and I deliver them to the front line. My friend Carrie told me the myth of Carol, the ferryman to the river Styx. I feel like I too am delivering these boys to the underworld. All I can offer is a safe passage, but I cannot save them. 
In these dark days, I don't know if I can save Josh either. My head is a swirl, and I'm no closer to having an answer. That boy is my heart, and I have to help him. I'm so sorry to have written such a grim letter. I only make it through these times knowing you are in the world, your loving father. Ready or not, he could have ended this. He didn't have a choice. No, he didn't. He should have faced his kids, shared his sorrow. That's not Scruff's handwriting. Where did he get these notes? Is this about you? Well, January 1821, it appears I was right. After being smuggling contraband into the islands, what's more, it seems he has been doing this in service of the crowns. Most islanders seem to know this for a fact, and yet do not seem to mind. In the Constable Wilford just turns a blind eye. In fact, I've been told I have had better quit my inquiries. I wanted to keep my job as a special constable, which puts me in a possible as uh, Scruff was conducting his own investigation and he had someone else's notes. Why did he get where did he get them? Got everything. Yeah. Right. Everything in there. It's as if he was conducting his own investigation. You mean I've been through this before? I think Scruff was looking for you in the history of these islands, yeah. Why am I still here then? Maybe he died before he could finish it? I feel for his daughters. Why did he do it? He didn't feel he had a choice. You always have a choice. He really was a good guy. Trust me. I do. I trust you. We're gonna be okay. All right. So, Scruff lived here mid-20th century, and he investigated your death. My death? I don't like it when you say it out loud like that. All right. But you're dead. We have to think about what that means. It means that not everything I remember happened when I was alive. And that there may have been others that you could talk with. We should find them. Hey. in here. Josh? I have a little confession to make. I'm actually glad I met you. Oh, all right. I think you just made me blush. Three in the out. Whose journal is this? Nora. That's Pixie's mother. Yeah, the woman from the picnic. And from the eulogy in the priest's notebook. Remember? June 25th, 1833. How does one begin? You buried mother and Callum today. A heavy day with loss. Going to hold yet the sun continues to shine despite beginning the moon month of June. I thought of a uh, courage still better to love story. <laughs> True. Uh come come thou bleak December wind and blow the dry leaves from the tree. 
The refrain repeated itself to the rhythm of the beating heart. We lay Cordel crown to rest. He and I, Cordelia, sorry. I have our differences and our woes, but our loves and pixie were not to be denied. I held the girl closest to whip. So much lost in one so small, but we survive. All we know what to do. Of course, the question of Colin and my mother uh, were together at the lodge remains. What business did they share? One may never know the truth, but certain ones can ruminate mysteries kept the dead from the teen dead. They remain alive as we desperate to try to know the secrets, but I hear Pixie. Most could comfort my sweet girl, Nora. Of the remembrance died uh, June 18th. I'm not forgiven, tis hard to break the tender cord, and love is bound, bound the heart. Hard, so hard to speak the words, must forever part. Dearest love, once we may lie thee in the peaceful grave embrace, but thy memory will be cherished till we face the heavenly face. That was the same thing that said in the church. Coleridge. His words get me every time. I wandered lonely as a cloud. That floats on high o'er vales and hills. That's Wordsworth. I like him better. The room in the Ancient Mariner in seven parts. It's an Ancient Mariner as you stop at the one of three. By the long gray beard and glittering eye, now uh, where fourth stop at thou be. Bridegroom's doors are open wide, and I'm the next kin. The guests are met, feast is set. Mayest hear the merry din. He holds him with his skinny hands. There was a ship, quoth he. Pulled off unhanded, gray bearded, alone, soon. Ephestunes has hand drop it. <laughs> oh. And nothing else to see in here. I remember Nora on that beach, with her daughter, Pixie. And it was their home. What are you thinking? It's so weird that you're in my head, but you can't know what I'm thinking. You should be glad. So, what's on your mind? This house. How I would like to walk out of this house every morning. With a mug of tea. Got that right. But none of those black leaves for me. I prefer hot steaming ginger tea. That's what Carrie used to drink. Scruff hated it. He was a man of black tea with a cloud of milk, and it just had to be so. Hang on. Pixie, she's Nora's daughter. And Cordelia Crown is Nora's mother. So Pixie... She's the granddaughter of Cordelia Crown. The girls are crying. <laughs> Don't know what that necessarily mean. Must mean she's got nobility. Oh. Oh boy. Here we go again. I love you, Tig. You know that. You and me, we're both fighters. So you're gonna have to be strong without me. You're gonna have to keep watch. Make sure no one enters this beach without me knowing about it, okay? Might be Daddy. And I might not be here. And I can't miss him. I can't not talk to him, or he might leave again. But if I tell him I love him, if I tell him I'm sorry, and he'll stay. I know he will. Okay, Tig, I'll be back before nightfall, so you're not alone. I know you're scared of the dark.
Okay. A book. Oh, this is interesting. She really did picture herself as a true detective. 14th September, 1837. Went to Little Rogue again today. How I love walking shore. I found three perfect shells, but this time I was there on business. Interview with Mr. Cogsworth. I want to talk to Mr. The Cogswell. Sorry, Cogswell. Hey, Creepyhoney, how you doing? Sorry I didn't come up with the alert. Oh, there you go. Just a slow alert. Welcome, Creepy Honey. Playing Ghost of the Shore. How are you doing? Hey, haven't been here in forever. What is up? Oh, not much. Uh, next Monday, I switch back to my day schedule, so I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully, we can get back to uh, our normal schedule we had, uh, what was that, about six months ago? Seven months ago, back last July, so looking forward to that. We're going to start up back up going slow, getting back to the normal, but we'll be able to get back. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Family's doing good. Um, just living the life. Elsa's about to finish school, and next month she turns eight. Hard to believe. My little girl's growing up. Uh, all right. So notes taken during my conversation. According to Mr. Cogswell, my father loved the island. My mother, but I'm unsure if he's willing to say this. Make me feel better. Says that he does not know why my father left, but he hints he hints that maybe my father was involved in something he couldn't have been. He used to say more. I need to investigate further. Maybe a trip to the Dark Rogue. There are stories of old pirates and smuggler gangs. He also says Uncle Doom, my father, far better than anyone. I don't understand why Uncle Cullum won't talk about father then. Is he sad? Or does he know more than he likes to say? Tomorrow I'm off to the Dark Rogues. I don't care why Uncle Cullum says... Tell him. I don't know how to call him Callum, but tell him. If the dark road is no place for a lady, he says. Uh, not giving me pixie dust. I'm a detective, and there has to be clues here, so I must go. I only need to be sure nobody sees me set sail, or they'll tell Mom or Nana. That in the journal... Such bravery. I understand the beckoning of the marshes and the beaches, but what was she hoping to find? Surely not her father. Such foolishness. Oh, she drew a I map. I used to draw maps like these. Of imaginary worlds with fairies and mermaids. Why did you stop? I had to grow up. Uh, be lurking. Still need to prepare lessons for work. Uh, I gotcha. Lord Black Bell, Nana, Holler says, thank you for the lurk, by the way. It is great to see you. And thank you again for the sub. I've been for 23 months. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Uh, horses, sheep, lighthouse, mom, my cave. Uh, I wonder. Island's changed much since the drawing. Perhaps she didn't map out the dark rogue. What was she looking for? Uh, binoculars. I need a pair of these. I always feel the something I need to see. something out of reach. What's the girl looking for? Josh, it's Tig. Oh, she loved things. that stuffed animal so much. I had a soft dog like that. I would hug it every night, needing its little head on my chest to fall asleep. I still have it on my boat. I love you, Tig. Nothing will bring her down. Oh, I love this. I wish I had a necklace like that. Maybe someday. When you're all grown up. <laughs> want me to see. I want to see more. The tinge of the ridge is pressing in the finger. Take me back to the time. Back to her mom. 
is this a backpack? Shoulder bag, used specifically when hiking. Looks like she did a lot of that. It says she put something in a shirt. Why did she keep these here? Why not back at the house? My bet is she didn't want Nora to know. My heart aches whenever I think of those warm boots. Such freedom. Go where you want to decide what yourself. I can hear the rushing of the blood just thinking about that. She reminds me of you. She's nothing like me. Wow. That yeah, was negative. Or maybe you're saying that I you're not her. I just don't understand why she kept looking for her dad. Because she believed in him. Isn't there anything you ever believed in? With your whole heart? I believed in Santa Claus. And he never came after my mom died. Uh -oh. oh my God, it's her. Why are you here? Well, hello to you too. I saw you leaping about on the beach. Why? A storm dragged me here. I didn't choose this. You could have left by now. You don't carry any sleeping bags or bedrolls. You're not prepared for this. What are you plotting? I see. You expect answers. Let me ask you a question instead. Who are you? Why, Beatrice Parker. That's some investigative skills you've got there. Look, oh, I... I don't know the right or wrong of this, but I need to figure out how I can help this ghost that's stuck here. And maybe, just maybe, you can help me. Or a ghost yourself, also stuck. I don't see a ghost. He's not here. Are you denying the words you just said? He's in my head. So you're imagining him. Okay, stop. Can you help me help him? I'd like to know about a girl named Pixie. She's dead, honey. I know that. It's about the Crown family. I want to know about them. But... If it's their home you're looking for, you should try the Lodge, on Little Rogue. Thank you. One word of advice. Don't trust that ghost of yours. I used to know everybody here, and I've never heard of him. Goodbye. Okay, that's kind of weird. Let me in. Well, at least this time she said goodbye. She's not making much sense, is she? Yeah, like, why shouldn't I trust you? I didn't even tell her your name. She can't know you. She must really not like me. Why is that? You didn't pee in a letterbox, did you? <laughs> what? No! Riley, I swear, you're as mad as a hatter. Good. I like it better when you're laughing. Who says I'm laughing? I can hear it in your voice. Now, how do I get to Little Rogue? It's weird because it makes me feel like a long dark, you know, concept a little bit of finding things, but I mean, it's totally different, obviously. Colin but Compton. I remember him. He was up on Scruff's investigation wall. Let's read. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to paraphrase this. 1817 accused Colin Compton illegal distillation of so picking hooch, basically. Uh, constable found him 
case was closed. Description yesterday, I apprehended Mr. Compton of the illegal making spirits. However, before the arrest, Mr. Compton still did. As for us, caught fire in the small shack he used that lets the activity was burned to ashes. I think that's enough of a penalty. Tried be, was tried, but left off with merely a warning on the grounds that there was no liquor and evidence to support the seriousness of the charge. Then he got one for illegal poaching attempt, 14th July, 1814. Again, closed. Josh John Griffins. He was found guilty of illegal poaching attempts on the premise of the Griffins family. Felony uh, on Mr. request, Mr. Compton was released without charges and the promise to cease any further poaching attempts in this area. Mr. Griffin was willing to show mercy in honor of Mr. Compton's mother and her friend who died while poaching, poaching for her sons. And he stole tobacco. Used red hand stealing pouch of tobacco from Miss Baker's grocery shop. And he was sentenced to fine of 12 E, whatever that is, to Mr. Baker. Money. Hittens, maybe. As the accused didn't uh, have such money at his disposal, the parties agreed on the payment of 2P per month. Minis? <laughs> wow, then he got in a bar fight in the black. Date 6. Uh, victim Henry Clinch Jr. Witness Henry Clinch Sr. That is Cook. Closed. Hughes was found guilty of picking a fight with the victim over a game of dice. During the game, Mr. Compton accused Mr. Clinch Jr. of cheating. However, no evidence was found. Uh, was indulged in any of cheating as as father Mr. Sr. or Clinch Sr. The witness to the entire game. According to his father, Mr. Compton himself, who cheated once, Mr. Compton knew there was no way to win the game. Mr. Clinch's testimony was backed up by Mr. Thaddeus, the cook, owner of the Black Bell. Penalty, Mr. Compton was sentenced to two weeks of gardening and service of the Clinch family. Wow. Then he got, and man, this dude, another fight at the docking bay for uh, accused Callum Compton, Clifford Wetson, witness Horatio Morris, blah, 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 a bunch of people. Huge brawl today in the docks. Um, he fought. I'm just going to paraphrase a lot of this. He was deliberately sabotaging and thus delaying the Nimrod departure. He wanted, he did so he could be, he could get the fish. Uh, he was denied access to the docks for a month. The permanent denial of access to the Nimrod. So, what we're getting here is Callum Compton was a bad dude. He got a lot of penalties. More of these bottles. Contraband. We were all distilling it. Liquor? Whiskey. Okay. Is this Archie? Archibald O'Sullivan, yeah. I didn't know he had a record. He was a criminal. I wouldn't say that. Um, let's see. Paraphrasing again. Public intoxication at the cove. He was stumbling. He raided. She mentioned this before. When I went out, he was released without charges. Yeah, I did. Um. There's someone was thrown out of the black belt today. Is being intoxicated again. Uh, Tuesday, January twenty ninth, eighteen. Body of the deceased Mr. Archibald O'Sullivan, my presence, eight years old, cause of death was determined by the death of the intoxication. He was found drifting near the boat in still water. No signs of survival. Here. 
Josh, look. Pages have been torn out. Scruff. Yeah. This is where we got those notes from. From Constable Sprouse. Dylan Sprouse, 18 September 1918. As Constable Wilford ha has shown no interest in opening an investigation into smuggling, I have taken it upon myself to do so. My suspicion began when I uh, saw the some file types appear. These bottles are from no shop located on the ropes. The contents of these bottles were always the same. High alcohol liquor, supposedly imported legally, imported legally from the mainland, but I have failed to find any proof therefore. My first attempt to find the uh, location of the import these islands. Not very not many valid options exist due to many underwater rock formations, prohibiting the approach of the vessel. These docks are uh once possibly, though, it would be too easy to spot the contraband. Um, another option could have been the peninsula off the Dark Rogue, though the entire of the peninsula is surrounded by razor sharp rocks sticking out of the bay, making it the approach of the large vessel suicide. There's also a small pathway leading deeper into the island, but it's too far to cramp to allow access to the small smuggling vessel. 29th of October, 1880. Um, yeah. Time finally uh, allowed me to visit the Dark Rogue. I confer first with Thaddeus Cook, owner of the Dark Rogue only, only Tavern. Black Bell. Well, Mr. Cook denied any involvement in such activities and couldn't help but notice something off, off about his demeanor. A man interrogated by the law, he struck me as overconfident even cocky hmm. with the legend fire column content a good hearted turn cold advice the answer was never at the bottom of the bottle Archie I've been known people like you alcohol is your true demon so bad so horrible you couldn't make it go away he didn't budge Sprouse felt he had to conduct his investigation secret what was there you were new and powerful enough to stop him. He has the police after all. Who am I kidding? Sprouse wasn't a necessity. Someone else was. Alright. I need to... I'll be right back. I do need to step away for a few minutes. Uh, I just need to get... I have a package delivered, so I need to go pick that up. Uh, run to the facilities. So I will be right back. Uh, let me just put on be right back soon.
All right, guys. I'm sorry about that. For that little. And back in. There we go. All right. Here we go. Is it me? Or did the sea level drop? I still tired of the acid rain. Yeah. To talk to that constable. I think we can. I wish we could, honey. Don't call me honey. I go this way. Something over there. Oh, that's just free. Ha! I thought it was something blue. Both these steps. Beatrice isn't up there anymore. I'm not stupid. I saw her leave myself. Then where are you going? Turn it down. Wait, wait. You're both that away. And so is a little rogue. All right, all right. How's the volume, by the way? All good? Can't I go up? Go up that way. Well, let me go up that way. Definitely would go that way. Oh. Thank you. Josh, is it? Yes, Miss Crine. You grew up here on the islands. Oh, yes, Miss Crine. We've been here for generations. That sounds lovely. I think the islands are the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Me too. Of course, I've seen nowhere else. But in truth, I've never wanted to. Oh, there is a blessing in this gentle breeze that blows from the green fields and from the clouds. You have a way with words, Miss Crine. Oh, Wordsworth definitely does. Uh, he goes on, and from the sky, it beats against my Better cheek. be careful, Miss Crine. Uh-oh. These waves have a mind of their own. Yes. I feel Wordsworth today. It's as if the sky itself is aware of how happy this place makes me. I can see why you remain here, Josh. That was me. That was you. I've never seen you. Not like that. And that was Nora. She escaped my memory. Completely. And I think you were her servant. Let's go find this lodge. On Little Rogue. Okay, so we're gonna go back to our boat. Um, I think we gotta go to another part of the island. Now, all set road. for Little Rogue. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, uh, we're gonna get to Little Rogue and we're actually gonna end it here, guys. I gotta get uh, lunch and then I gotta get ready for work. So. But let's go ahead and get on over there and get to the island. Loading. Ah, here we are. So yeah, I would definitely Agros is the walkie sim, the kind of things, and it's just well in story. But I, I, I got this for the story. I, I wanted to that it was very rich and a deep story, and it said depending on how you talk, interact with the 
ghost, it would be your story would be different. So I was intrigued with that idea. Um, Little rogue, I'm so excited. Can you see the lodge yet? It's tucked away up on the hill. Let's go, Joshua. My name's Josh. Ooh, sensitive. All right, so we just saved. The lodge. So that's good. Like it's been waiting for me. So there's your picture of the lodge with Bill sitting out, and then we'll get this little cassette tape. We'll listen to the cassette tape really quick. I think we'll save it. Archie's. I like it here. This is the perfect place for a beer or a bloody smoke. Of course, I no longer have either. I can barely remember what they taste like. Gosh, a drink of any kind would be heaven right now. To make my brain stop for just like a minute. Make me feel normal because you never shut it. Thank you. I should go back to the lodge. Go through those ledges again. There's got to be something in there. That tart Cordelia. She was well, hiding awesome. something. Better contract? I've... Ugh. So much for shutting it. No, I don't like her, and neither did you. Are you sure she doesn't have some brandy hidden away? Or some of that whiskey you keep talking about? Oh, that's a good idea. Thanks. All right, we said. Still... Is there anyone who does like Cordelia Crime? You don't say. But the point is that this was Archie's place. The gardener. All right, we still got um, a few minutes here. So this was a servant's trail? Yes, that's where we walked. The lodge and everything else up there. That was their world. Well out of reach, the life of a servant. I took Nora in that boat. Doesn't mean I was their servant. Is this here where you lived? Little Rogue? It feels familiar, but it wasn't my home. you feel it? What are you talking about? It's great out here. I forgot you love every beach you see. <laughs> what can I say? The waves must have cast a spell over me. Eerie, I say. Especially the water down there. I don't like this place one bit. Oh, don't be a baby. Eh, yeah, I can go with that. Oh. Pick a statue. Yeah. Is that Beatrice there? What is she doing here? Let's go talk to her. I have to admit, she frightens me a little too. It's like she doesn't feel anything. Always glowering over us like that. She's just rock hard, is all. Sometimes you need to be. Okay, we're going to have to be. Beatrice? Oh, hello, Riley. That is your name, if I remember correctly. Hey, why are you. Yes, nice that's my name. Did you get rid of that ghost of yours yet? We are working on it. So very. Shut up. Not now. I'm talking to Beatrice. I see you found your way to Little Rogue. Yes. I really want to find the lodge. That's very clever. You will find answers there. Can I ask you something personal? By all means. Why do you not trust my ghost? I cannot see him. I cannot sense him. That is unusual. 
and it feels wrong. I think I'm here to help him. You probably should. No other way to get rid of him. How can you be so sure? Because I never wanted to leave either. I used to come to this very same beach. With my father, I think. I'd play here while he'd go up and talk to Archie. I don't know what they talked about. But they'd be up there for hours if they'd stocked up on enough whiskey. I had to be honest. Yeah. I have lost so many. I still miss the ones I loved most. And the ones that hurt me the worst. I cannot leave them. You're the last one, Beatrice. I know that. They've all been gone all right, for Kibiani, so long. thank you so much. I forgot their names. I should be on Saturday yeah, night. You do not want uh, to go. We'll be continuing. I do not. Ghosts on the shore. You never know. They might come back. Ah, uh, hang on, guys. You may leave me now. I will find you again. And she's gone. Why does she keep doing that? All right, we're gonna go a little bit further. I had to be honest. I wish I didn't have to work because I just play this all day. To be honest with you, hang out with you guys, but I do have to work, so we're just gonna go a little bit further and we're gonna quit. Different ways. Make sure. Wow, Josh, look at those wall paintings. Selkies. I remember that story. I told it to Margot. Margot? Tell me about her. She was just a girl who hung about on the islands. She felt lost to me. All right, let's go to the next location. Um, yeah, so if I didn't have to work, ooh. Oh, we're coming up on the tree. This is this is a big one. I think. Please stay. You may want to come down from that tree, Miss Crine. It's unsafe. Oh, but this is a solid branch. Why don't you come see for yourself? It's a new world from here. Miss Crine? Yes. I'm glad you stayed. That's awfully nice of you to say so. And I'm glad too. You were friends. I wouldn't call it that. She was just being nice. Yeah, there's yeah. Oh, well, there's she something. To see the world differently. I want that. That's why I got on that boat. Didn't think that was so wrong of me. Of course it wasn't. Then why am I being punished for it? Punished? I'm stuck. Once again, I can't make my own choices. So we can't take that. So whatever we have left, we will continue this on Saturday. Guess and maybe finish it up on Saturday. I'm unsure what our next move might be. We're heading for the big house, right? That is where she lived, right? I thought you liked Nora. How can I like somebody I don't know? Do you like me? More than I care to share. I knew you'd see sense. Like all the others that came before. Riley, are you jealous? No, because that would be ridiculous. Look, I'm not jealous, all right? I I've said this before. Doesn't mean it's true, though.
So, this is Nora's house. Her mother's. Cordelia Crown. But that's her window, up there. I remember her climbing out to go down to her tree. Okay, let's go into the house. Wow. The main entrance. The only one Cordelia ever used. And she made very sure no servant ever did. Okay, I think this is where we'll, we'll read her little letter and then I think we'll end Another here. Letter. Actually, won't go Why does he keep hiding her. them? He should have sent them. I think that's a good ending point. 10th of November, 1943. My sweet little elephants. I'm sitting on old Cordelia Crown's porch. Or what's left of it. She's been dead for a century now. Still, she makes me so mad. I wish I could yell, kick, and scream. The crowns were so corrupt. And Cordelia Crown took her family for granted. She treated them so shabbily. But I suppose I treat you girls the same, don't I? I didn't value you enough to come home. I tell myself that I can't. That I'm afraid to see your shiny faces. That I have too much blood on my hands. But what if it's a lie? What if I am just like Cordelia Crown? Carrie hates such talk. She tells me I'm too hard on myself. That we all survive and do the best we can. But I don't know. When you make mistakes, you must pay your debts. And I can never make up for all my sins. But I did some good once upon a time. I helped create you. Oh, I've gone down the morose path again, didn't I? I shall sign off and leave you to happier thoughts. Your loving father. He knew. He knew what she did. We've got to pull our wit. Figure it out for ourselves. Really? You're not going to do a save point? All right, we got to go. We got to go further. I got to get a save point before we can end. Sure there's got to be something that's going to stay. All right. Dad. She wrote to him. But he wasn't here anymore. He chose not to be with her. Let's read it. Dear Daddy, people say you're not coming home, but I do not believe them. Mom says he, we have to accept it, but that you're gone. But every day she's the flu. I put Tig on a on watch. He watches the shore while I'm away with Miss Jessup, but we do not miss you. Tig and I watch for you every day and every night. I do not know why you. Left. I'm afraid you left because of me. Mom says it ain't so, but I think it was me. Come home. I will be very, very best girl in the world. Mom pretends she's happy, but I know she's sad for you. Daddy, please come home. I could read to you. I could show you things I found on the island. Tig and I will be waiting on the shore, Daddy. I miss you very much. Love, Pixie. All right. We're going to go a little bit further. I'm gonna leave. Uh, let's see here. Think, uh, love someone who doesn't love you back. I'm glad she was surrounded by so many, but by some, so many that cherished her. That girl was fearless. All right, let's look here. Backgammon game. I never understood backgammon. Okay. Problem back on again. Go for the best. Yeah. Pixie lit up her world. She must have left her grandchildren. I love. I know this much. Ledger. Cordelia was in charge, obviously. Sculpture. There. There. Letter. She wrote to Pixie. I'm telling you, Cordelia knows more than she lets on. 
My sweet tea is with great sorrow crossed out. I write this letter with a heavy crossed out, troubled heart. Words do not come easily, but nonetheless, I must speak. It's time for you to know, understand, to see, to know. Cross out. I want to wish. Cross out once. Truth behind the unfortunate disappearance of your father. Know what happened. Troubles. Cross out. Plagues me greatly. And I have always crossed out. Will always regret what I. How does. Tell your grandfather that her father will never come back. You need to stop looking. Appearance of the father. What does she know? What secrets does she tell us? The key to the boat house. Cordelia kept it in the study. You better go get it. All right, we just did a save. So we're going to leave it here. We'll get the key on the next one to get to the boathouse and go further from there. I hope you guys enjoyed. No Southern Shore. Uh, we'll continue next time. And let me go ahead and uh, cancel out this or close out. Yes, I'm sure. All right. Go, ghost on the shore. And we'll continue that next time. Yes, for sure. Okay. Now, let me quickly look and see if there uh, is anybody. Yes. You know we're going to pass it on to Lane Green, who played Midi Dynasty. Give me a second here. Pass it on. Go ahead for the raid let her know where you came from i'll see you guys hopefully on planet saturday 8 central second okay the raid's about to happen all right guys you take care of yourselves and i will catch you in the raid i'll see you guys on saturday take care of yourselves have a great weekend take care of your family as well see ya sort of asley out bye guys We're having all these picked. Ooh, berries. But also thistle. And also henbane, I assume. Sword of Asel, welcome. Uh, thank you for the raid. I appreciate it. Welcome, everyone. Okay, not not mushrooms. We can't we can't do mushrooms now. <laughs>